So today I want to talk to you about common phrases a narcissistic mother uses on you and the categories that they're under. So let's go. Well, it's great to see you. What are some commonly used phrases that a narcissistic mother uses? When a narcissistic mother doesn't agree with your choice, here are some phrases that you might hear. You only did that to hurt me. This is not gonna work. You are so selfish. You never stop to think, do you? You're so ungrateful. Now, when you as a adult child or child of a narcissistic mother shows any kind of emotion, a narcissistic mother is gonna perceive that as burdensome. After all, it's really about her, her feelings, her perception. So here are some common phrases you might hear. Just get over it. Stop being a drama queen. Oh, you're so dramatic. Why are you so sensitive? I thought I told you so. A mother's always right. These are the choices that you made. Why do things always seem to affect you more than other people? And get over it. Now, when you try to attempt to confront your narcissistic mother, well, she's not gonna like that. And you might hear phrases that sound like, what is wrong with you? You're making too much out of nothing. I don't care. I never did that. You're just sensitive. I don't remember it that way. Now, what does a narcissistic mother say when you've proved them wrong, when you're challenging their reality, when they're trying to rewrite history and you're trying to show them receipts? Well, a narcissistic mother might say something like, oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? Who told you that? You're so gullible and naive. I have no idea what you're talking about. You just can't believe everything people say. Now, when you question a narcissistic mother's authority, well, what does that sound like? Now remember, she's the expert on everything. She has to be right, she has to win. And what does that sound like? Here are some common phrases. Don't you dare look at me that way. How dare you talk back to me? I'm your mother. Get that look off your face before I slap you. Who do you think you are? How dare you question me? Now, what does a narcissistic mother say to guilt trip you and emotionally blackmail you because after all, she has to have ultimate power and control? Well, this sounds like, I'll just die without you. You're breaking my heart. You're the reason your father and I got divorced. You're the reason your mother and I got divorced. You only care about yourself. I've given up my whole life for you. You know, I never wanted kids. You owe me this. After all, I gave you life. I'm the only one that will really ever know you and love you. You're ungrateful. Now, when a narcissistic mother is tearing you down and devaluing you, again, to put you in your place, to keep you small, to keep herself in control of you. Because after all, you're an extension of her. She doesn't want you going anywhere. You are her narcissistic supply as a child or an adult child. So what are some phrases that this could sound like that you might hear if you have a narcissistic mom? You are a mistake. Everything in my life is your fault. Ever since you were born, things have gone wrong. You know, you're just like that. I don't know whose child you are. You don't take after me. I'm so ashamed of you and you should be ashamed of yourself. You're worthless. You're immature. Just wait till your father gets home. It's a shame you don't have any friends. People would like you more if you weren't so fill in the blank. Everyone else agrees with me. They see that you're just so fill in the blank. It could be lazy or stupid or whatever it is. Now, the thing with narcissistic moms is, especially if you're a daughter, although this could happen if you're a son too, she's jealous of you. She could be jealous of your youth, your beauty, your achievements, your influence in the community, you name it. She's gonna compete with you. 
And it might sound like, oh, look at you. You always have rose colored glasses on now, don't you? Oh, you just think you're so pretty or you just think you're so smart, don't you? You're a fill in the blank. You're just trying to get attention. You know, guys only like you because you're fill in the blank. People used to tell me I was pretty. You know, I used to be young once and I was prettier than you. You're just so ugly on the inside. Now, when a narcissistic mother compliments you, oftentimes she does not give you a full compliment. Nope. She'll either passively, aggressively make a comment, she might downright directly insult you, or she could say some phrases like this. You know, you're so smart, but you have zero common sense. You'd be so much more prettier if you lost 20 pounds. Oh, your house is so clean. No wonder your two-year-old can't read. I'm so proud of your accomplishments. Obviously, you get that from me and my side of the family. You know, that dress looks good on you, but it looks better on your sister. Now, when your narcissistic mom has delusions of grandeur, she's power tripping, she's delusional. And I don't mean that in a clinical sense. I mean that, and she's entitled and full of herself. Here are some phrases that you might hear. I'm not capable of lying. How dare you accuse me? You know, everyone wishes they could have a mother like me. You're so lucky. Calm down. You're being so irrational. Stop being so angry. You're being ridiculous. You know, I can't believe that you're no good at fill in the blank. Because you're my child, you should be successful. Again, narcissistic moms see their children as an extension of themselves. Now, here's the thing to think about. A narcissistic mom, when she has more than one child, one child is going to be the golden child and on the pedestal, and the other one is going to be in the doghouse or a scapegoat. And that can change daily. It could change hourly. It can change regarding the situation. And sometimes it's a fixed role, but one child is on a pedestal and she's going to identify the most with that child being like her. The other child is going to be, well, the scapegoat, the child that's not like her, or she just doesn't get any accolades from the world on. Maybe that child doesn't have talent or isn't pretty or isn't fashionable. She's going to choose a child that is oftentimes prettier or has attributes that she can be proud of and showcase and brag that, well, you have them because of her, of course. Again, a narcissistic mom always sees you as an extension of herself. You are never an individual. She's in control and has power over you. And anything good that you do that she doesn't find threatening, well, she'll take credit for. And then if she does find threatening, she's going to undermine you. Here's the other thing with narcissistic moms. They oftentimes do not allow siblings, they don't teach siblings to have a close relationship or relationship. And why is that? That is because she doesn't want the children aligning and ganging up on her, challenging her. She keeps everybody split in the family. Matter of fact, a narcissistic mom will oftentimes even turn her husband against her children or her children against her husband. Again, she's the queen of the castle. She's the one that rules the roost. So she's the one that has all the power and control. And what do we know about narcissists? Well, if you've watched any of my videos, you know a narcissist has to be the hero or the victim. Depending on whatever's going on, they'll play one of those two cards, depending on the scenario. And what else do we know about a narcissist? In their mind, they have to win or conquer. And sometimes it looks really bizarre to us that are healthy and we're wired correctly and we have a conscience and deep empathy. It doesn't always make sense, but to them, they always have to feel like they have the upper hand. And they're, of course, notoriously known as someone who does one-uppers And of course, has what we call competitive or comparative empathy. That's when they oftentimes will mimic empathy statements, but they're not really empathetic because it always leads back to them. It'll seem like they have empathy, but what it is is they've experienced something like that. And so that's an opportunity for them to take over the conversation and hijack it speaking about themselves. Again, competing with you on how they're the expert on whatever it is. 
So what's a good example of that? Well, let's just say there's a neighbor and the neighbor lives down the street and the neighbor's daughter got in a car accident because she just was speeding. This is when the narcissistic mom is gonna say to that neighbor, oh, you think you have it bad with your daughter? Well, I had the same thing and it happened to me and this is how I felt. And she's gonna compete empathetically with the neighbor to one up her or outdo her. Interesting, right? But that's what narcissistic mothers do. They can never allow it to be about the other person. And they oftentimes will treat superficial people in their lives. You know, their mailman, their dentist, their doctor, the neighbors, maybe the church pastor, the congregation, whatever it is, the people who are on the peripheral, the acquaintances, they treat like gold and they really showboat about how they're a doting mother, they have wonderful, beautiful family, but a narcissistic mom will do what? Well, like any narcissist, they treat their own children and spouse the worst, neglectful or abusive. It's hard when you're an adult child of a narcissistic mother or you're a child of a narcissistic mother and everyone thinks she's wonderful and yet you experience a completely different reality. That feels so invalidating, minimizing, gaslighting. You feel like you're going crazy. Other people are experiencing a different side of your mom. And this is where a lot of times those secrets behind closed doors, no one knows what's going on in that house. People have no idea how cruel your mother can be, how emotionally absent or neglectful, how abusive she can be. Now, if you feel like you have a mom that is just demonstrating narcissistic traits, that she might have a narcissistic personality disorder, I encourage you, if you've experienced any kind of emotional neglect or abuse, to please seek therapy, where you can get education, understanding tools, and healing. Also strategies, if you choose to still have a relationship with your mom, that it can be boundaried, and that you can determine where you end and she begins, and that you're no longer an extension of her. You don't have to like what she likes. You can really kind of find out who you are. That makes me think of a very old movie with Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, The Runaway Bride, where Julia Roberts is known for dating guys and she takes on their personality or she's a chameleon-like because she doesn't know who she is. Richard Gere challenges her and says, well, you like this kind of egg with this guy and this kind of egg with this ex-fiance. How do you like your eggs? And she says, I don't know. And there's this famous scene in the movie where she's in a diner and she's trying literally every style of egg to find out who she is. Having a narcissistic mom, you oftentimes are robbed of an identity and you have trouble making decisions for yourself in any type of situation. So again, I encourage you to go to therapy so that you can discover who you are and get those resources and tools as well as healing because you deserve it. So that's it for today on talking about phrases commonly used and the categories a narcissistic mom is gonna use. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was great to see you and until next time.